Good day, tubes. How is she hanging? Well, I got my ear deweys on here. This is what I do my recording with for the farm some Saturday and stuff. And uh, this whole entire weekend since about Friday afternoon-ish, I think it was, we've had no internet at all here. And uh, I just happened to notice there on uh, Friday there, there uh, where our big cable box thing is way over on the pole, way over by the staples there. There was three guys messing around on the pole there, and I think they must have must stopped something there. So we've got the repair guy coming from Rogers to uh, see what's been going on. And uh, I guess I haven't met him yet or anything, but uh, she's been off all weekend. The TV's been off too, so those guys have messed up something, I think, in that box. So it's a big waiting game right now because they give you a window from, like, you know, 5 a.m. to, like, 20,000 midnight. They'll be here. And uh, he's supposed to call first or something, apparently, but uh, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, so it's been one frick of a weekend, let me tell you, when you got no internet and you got two kids. Holy, it's pretty bad when <laughs> when you don't have internet and they're just, like, dragging their heels around with nothing to do. Oh, my goodness. So, <laughs> anyways, we're just playing a little bit of Left 4 Dead right now, waiting for the guy to call, and uh, hopefully he gets here soon. And uh, he'll probably just have to go blink, blink. There you go, bud. And uh, away you go. So, I don't know. People get in these boxes, and I swear they got no idea what the frick they're doing. And uh, yeah, so, but, anyways, um, we're waiting. Buddy didn't even call. Uh, I just had to go uh, to the bathroom and uh, come back. And I think I seen the, the little Dewey down there wasn't all screwy up. Still, the little this little Dewey right here with a little screen Dewey thing there. And I uh, just run a little test here. And we're pulling 206 down, which is a little-ish low, but that's not bad. And almost 11 up, 11 point, blah 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 up. So, oh sweet. So anyways, I guess he just went and hooked a feller back up and away we go. Well, we got a little bit of snow last night. Enough I had to plow, but just barely. <laughs> just barely. Oh, there's maybe a couple inches, inch or so, maybe an inch and a bit. I don't know, it wasn't very much. Anyways, uh, I guess maybe I'll just keep my eyes peeled out front here. Maybe Buddy will kind of just pull up. Oh, I see the snow plow man was in. It's too bad I already had it all done. Oh well. I had her plowed and everything all by myself this morning. But, uh... I thought, what the heck, I come out of the cemetery, I'll just keep going to the end of the road. Plowed all up by Highway 10 there and everything, freaking cars going <laughs> everywhere, but we made her. She worked good. So, I haven't seen Buddy, but, um, and you can't see it from here, but our, uh, our line for the cables, the bottom one here, uh, the bottom one there, it goes to the little box dewey there, that runs way the heck across over to the highway. Does a bunch of crap over there and then it comes with the big feller. See if I can zoom in on her. That big one right there on the bottom is the cable. And it runs all the way down by freaking Staples, which is behind the bush here, to one of their big boxes where those three guys were working there on Friday, I guess it was, and it's where they must have messed stuff up. So, lots of fun, lots of fun. But he must be over there or something found the problem but ding there you go he might not even call me I don't know so yep uh, buddy I can't remember your name but you were freaking right about the truck the third run the freaking light come on again honestly it did and I'm like seriously <laughs> oh man and yes I do have my ATV in the new trailer there just was taking her for a little test drive and tow, tow drive and stuff seemed good but um, yep, she come back on again. I'm still apologize. I just cannot remember people's names when I'm starting to do videos and stuff. But uh, anyways, yeah, she's back on the exact same freaking code. Um, P0453, I think it was, which is the ev evaporative um, uh, pressure sensor switchy uh, circuit high or something like that. Now, reading a little more on that. It could be something to do with the uh, wiring that's going into that uh, uh, thing. It's not maybe got a good enough ground. Um, 
or the uh, solenoid valve it could be that too it didn't really give specifics for what that was so I don't know I fixed it because with you know what I seen was the uh, uh, what you might call it uh, thing on the top of the fuel pump thingy there was that's what I thought it was so that's what I fixed and it seemed to sort of work and then I guess it every third drive it does a test and and uh, boom there she comes on again so I can't believe her so oh, I'm gonna leave her for now I guess we'll do some more work on that you know a little bit later on and maybe try putting a solenoid valve in it or something or that's a little thing that actually opens up to uh, let the stinky gases come through into the engine and get sucked in by vacuum pressure so it could be that that's maybe not opening all the way and it's sensing that the pressure in the tank is too high or something so but anyways whatever freaking cars and trucks oh man so just looking at our pole here again if I can focus on that that little dewey there's the filter box apparently and uh, for some reason a few years back there one of the fellers came and unhooked our line there and left don't know why why did that so of course you know I didn't really know a whole lot about it then but I seen this thing hanging there I'm like well, okay I don't think that's quite right so he called the service guy in and he's like oh someone's unhooked your dewey there I'm like well yeah I seen the guy up there but you know I didn't really question him or nothing and uh, I was wondering what the frick he was doing but um yeah so couldn't believe her but anyways he hooked us back up then and uh, away we went thought I maybe should test out the TV too so we're just rebooting the dewey thingy uh cable box modem thingy whatever you call it for the TV part and uh Hopefully it takes three, four minutes, whatever, and then away she goes. Oh, loading data, that's a good sign. Hopefully. Yay, the Gorilla Glue works. Holy cow, I can't believe it. Gorilla. Original Gorilla Glue for the Well, the Rogers guy came anyways, just happened to meet him just in time. He's gonna do some some doing here. I can't really film him. I didn't ask him, but anyways, he brought all this cool stuff here. You can test the line, and it tells him how far until there's maybe a, an issue or something or a break in the line, or whatever. So that's pretty sweet. So he's doing testing. He's doing testing. So he chopped this off at our little box here. He didn't like the color of that. Should be a lot cleaner, he said. So uh, he's gonna try to chop it up on the top of the house there. Try her there again. See if he gets any resistance in the line. All right, he got a new Dewey on and uh, tested her up there. He says, yep, she's good from here to the pole. So there must have been something just in that little turning aroundy thingy there. So he's going to replace from there down now. Should be good to go. All righty, well, the feller came downstairs. He got everything finished outside. Uh, I came in and tested again and it dropped connection again. He's like, oh, hmm. So he didn't like that. So we wanted to come check all this. So he came in here and changed the line this is the main coming in out of the wall where he just was so we put his tester on that feller and drove a signal all the way through I guess he says that looks good that one's fine that's good so he's like I don't like this splitter he's like uh, if you're not actually using three you shouldn't put more than you need on it because uh, three will actually reduce your signal a lot more so he get, uh, gave me an art and one of these fellers so Patent pending China. Ah, he does made in China. <laughs> He's just freaking Chinese junk. Well, yeah, but you know. Yeah, and then he uh, switched all the ends and we uh, got back on the Dewey there and we did a test and uh, it seems to be okay again now. So um, I've been having a lot of drop connections with this. Like you'd be going along, going along, all of a sudden, boom! He says, oh, that'll be from the corrosion in the line that we just fixed. So I guess he says you got to be pretty much crystal clean, clear to get a really good clear signal. So I'm like, oh, okay. So we did a test. We got a 10 MS, which is pretty good. Um, download speed of 206. Uh, upload of 11.11, .11, so that's actually really good. Uh, let's try a new server here. I said to him, I know you guys at Rogers, you got like a one of your own uh, tester thingies to test the speed. He's like, I oh, don't use that. That's freaking junk. I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, everybody, they, they, I tell everybody to go to this one. I'm like, oh, it's even better to know. <laughs> So I'm like, okay. Okay, let's begin test. See, he was a super nice guy. Didn't actually get his name, but... Oh, well. Rogers guy. Cable guy. Oh, 9MS. Sweet. 
So we'll let this do another test here. So hopefully we should be a little more better. A little more better. And we've got 210, 208-ish. That was around 212 there. Now it's the upload I'm really super concerned about because you know uploading the videos, oh man, if it's any more than or any less than five, whoa, it takes forever. So we got ten, almost eight coming, or oh, almost eleven coming. There's picked up eleven. That's actually not bad. That's that's decent. So that uh, makes me happy. But just for fun, we should try the Rogers one here. All right, check your speed. Man, I had a lot of other things I want to do today, but I don't know if I'm gonna get time to do them now. Begin test. Oh, of course it's you know showing like 250. The other one was what 208, 206. Ah, oh crap. There it is. The upload takes a second here. I guess it's got to prepare. Prepa Whoa! Didn't really want that to happen. It's got to prepare. So MS of 25. So that's a little higher. I don't know exactly know where this actually goes. Oh, here goes the upload. So 10. I think we'll get 11. Eee, just about. So that's not bad. That's I'd say that's comparable to the other one. A little higher up, little MS there. So, but uh, hey, that's not too bad. Okay, so just for something fun here, we're gonna pick a a new server. Um, let's go way over here somewhere. Bat Batum? I don't even know where the frick that is. Well, we're close to. Uh, oh, let's say Bangkok. Bangkok. Okay, here we go. So this is where we're going from us uh, way the frick over here to over to Bangkok. Bangkok. 293 MS. That's really not too bad for that far away. So down speed, we're not going to get a whole pile. We're getting 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 and a quarter down. Oh, it screwed us at the end. I'd say it's 18 and a quarter though. Okay, up. I'll be, blah, I'll be amazed if we get over three, four, five. Wow. Six. Seven? Wow. Oh, if I pull 10 here, no, it's not going to go any higher than that. So 8.9. Oh, nine. I'd say, I'd call that nine. Holy, oh, yeah, that's not too bad to Bangkok. Bangkok. So if you want to uh, know what this is, it's just um, www.speedtest.net. And uh, you can pretty much select. It'll, I think, default to one that's closest to you. Or you can do what I did there and uh, new server and uh, you can just scroll it around you know and uh, it'll uh, see we could even go down to Florida or something here where's Florida let's go down to Miami Florida and most times there's more than one server you can pick from too so oh, 55 MS to Florida that's not bad Wow, we're getting pretty good speed down there. But 70, I would say. And... 8, 9. I'd be surprised if we get 10. Nine, 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 nine. Oh, almost. 998. Sweet. So, let's just um, pick another one here closer to home. And just double check her again here. Okay, so I can go uh, St. Catharines, Oakville, Toronto you think would be closer, but apparently it's further away. Let's try one in Barrie, Barrie, Ontario. Got a ping of 45, that's actually pretty high for Barrie, but man, we're pulling pretty good uh, numbers there. 226, up should be at least, it should be full pop actually. 10, oh, it's lagging a bit there. Oh, 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 982. I guess that's not too bad. Okay, now, <laughs> that's really kind of 
making me curious because it should be a little bit higher in the up there. So let's do another one. Let's do this Oakville one. It's about the closest, I think. Yeah, 5 MS. Holy! I just love it when it maxes itself out. They're going to have to adjust their little calculum my later thing here because 100M is uh, a lot of people go higher than that now. 9, 10. That's actually pretty good. Sweet. I think Buddy got her. Nice job. Well, enough of that internet crap. Oh, got to put her neutral. Get this little fowler going again here. We'll head her down the garage for a little bit again. I got um, a couple of things I wanted to do today. Had a whack of snow in the front there. Whack of snow. And uh, anyways, head her down. The plow worked good this morning again. I did this whole entire road myself before the plow guy even came in, so. Uh, I do apologize if there's a lot of wind noise. I even shoved her off the edge here real good. Guess we can shove her more while we're heading down. Gonna cut some uh, Dewey Mahickey thingies to uh, bracket things to weld onto this to mount into this, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time for that. But we'll get this um, maybe sizered up here and then bring this inside so that I can uh, get the idea of what I wanted to do and stuff. So let's lower that plow back down there and. Uh, See what we're thinking. All right, I got some measurements on a little sheet of paper here, but I was looking at some uh, sizes for the uh, the pins for that thing, and of course, you know, it's one between these two pillars. This is a three quarter. That's a three quarter, three quarter inch bolt. Yeah, I know that. And this one's a five eighths. Well, I know that. Well, the one I need is like an eleven sixteenths, which is one of these fellers, right in the middle. <laughs> Figures, eh? So a little too sloppy, and this one's you know too big. So, I'm going to have to figure something out for that, I guess, too, how to mount that thing. I can't really go much bigger because the, just the size of the things I've got there, it's pretty much drilled through. So we might actually have to leave her a bit sloppy or something. Or See, I don't need much, but just like a, a length of that would probably work. Well, maybe a little longer, but... Um, 11 16th but oh man it's got to be one of those things I just don't have right so but anyways not a big deal we'll figure something out I'm sure okay it's getting pretty bad I'm getting down to measuring with sockets holy so 11 16th is what that hole is that's a hair a bit smaller oh man but that hole's probably wore out too <laughs> I would imagine so uh, geez I don't really know what to say now whether I should just build a whole new mounts for those two whole things or just drive on the way she is. Probably just drive on the way she is. See maybe if I can get... Well... Hmm. That's saying 5 eighths of an inch. Which should be that. Not quite. Mm. Yeah. 
and it's just a hair a little bit bigger than 5 8 but that goes in and but it's still a little floppy so it's a little bit bigger than oh, I don't know <laughs> but like I say it's probably wore out so I mean that'll fit uh, 5 8 but it's really floppy I'll show you that when we head home that's like way too big uh, show you maybe maybe one of those in there too but I'd have to drill it out more than if I was gonna go that big but then it won't leave much meat from on the outside of the holes right so it's just the way those things are set up but I don't know we'll have to figure something out or uh, I'm not too sure what to, what to say what to say whether we're gonna rebuild the amount for that or just drive on with what we got but anyways let's go have a look outside maybe anywho I got one of these mounts kind of figured out so there'll be one of these on each side of the dewey that goes in the middle that I'm going to show you outside here on the plow and uh, that'll get welded down to uh, that lift bracket thing and then I'm going to put a back one on too so there'll be another square piece back here and then a weld or like a box and maybe even one on the top too that might help it from moving and stuff so basically it'll be like a pocket it'll kind of fit in pin it put a safety pinny thing on and uh, drive on where you go ah, just figuring out the mount thing uh, 5 8 of course is too small but uh, that other socket's a little bit bigger than 5 8 like I'm not going to be able to find a, a round bar like that so I'll probably just have to go either with 5 8 leave, leave it sloppy maybe I can get a bushing I don't know and um, I'll go 3 quarter inch and I'll probably have to remake the Deweys 3 quarter is probably going to be uh, be a lot beefier heavier but uh, it's going to be too big for those things out there so let's just pop out and have a look all right, let's have a look at the 5 8 first. So that goes in there. It's going to make it pretty darn sloppy. I kind of wondered if that was maybe 5 8 to begin with. Wouldn't make any difference though because the rest of it's sloppy too, but that's not so good. Now, I could hog that out to 3 quarter, but actually it's almost hogged out enough now as it is. Hey, that might actually work. All I need to do maybe do is get my little buzzer thing in there and clean it out, hog it out, wouldn't take long, and uh, she's darn near, uh, oops, sorry, she's darn near cleaned out to uh, a three-quarter inch now, really, <laughs> this is pretty bad, eh? holy, but uh, how's this side, see this side, they sort of ground her, oh man, sorry guys, they sort of ground her, it's a little bit uh, narrower there for some reason, I wonder if they bent her, wasn't fitting her or something, so they, you know what, that actually might work. I might be able to just grind that down, grind her in a little bit there. See, there isn't a lot of meat left there right after. Now, I guess I could weld some stuff all back onto there, but eh, maybe we'll try her like that first. That's got to take a bit of abuse there, I guess, when you're hitting stuff, but here on these roads, it's really not bad. I'm not hitting curbs and stuff, right? So, that actually might work. That actually might work. So, I just kind of scribed a couple of lines. One there, should be another set there of just the width of these things so when I get them inside I'll be able to uh, basically weld the uh, plates I'm going to cut there just a bit on either side there and then put the uh, the back plate and probably the top plate so it fits in like a pocket that would probably work pretty good and I'm pretty much sure I left myself enough room out the back here so it'll have room to pivot in there um, if not we can always adjust stuff but uh, yeah, more or less it should probably work pretty good. And the other thing I want to try maybe is, uh, I'll actually probably take that in now with me, let it warm up. This uh, skid shoe here is in pretty rough shape on the bottom. <laughs> we'll take her and have a look at her maybe. Yeah, she's been kind of wore a bit thin there. It should mostly be like this thickness, but in here she's actually broke through. So and now it's not sitting quite right. So it might have been hit too or something probably was hit and then it's just started wearing in real bad so I don't know if that's worth me trying to fix that feller and bend her and straighten her and stuff or I'd have to weld a lot of gobs of stuff probably in the bottom to bring her back up though right you can almost see like on this side it's had hardly anywhere and over here it's you know almost gone so that would take a fair bit of welding to to get that back but I don't know, I may not even be able to straighten that feller. Well, I gave her some beating there and actually straightened her up pretty good. Opened her up a lot, so wow, you can really see how much it's wore off that front. That's craziness, so. That actually might be salvageable, you know. I might be able to re-resurrect uh, this feller a little bit. Save me like 18 bucks, I think that's what they're worth at Princess Auto. 
get her close anyways so but she's gonna need a lot of beefing up there whoo mama so now how do you check if that's perfectly good it actually looks like it's off again I don't know like how do you go by where's what you'd have to like have some kind of special level on Dewey or something I don't got that kind of cool stuff but anyways uh, I'll just have to keep looking at her and seeing if we have to straighten her but uh, I think we can probably do something with that anyways maybe get the welder going weld a bunch of stuff on the top of that maybe tomorrow or something and seeing how she's looking a lot sitting there like that Oh yeah, she's off quite a bit. It's got to get bent down the back, I think, more. That's low there, so yeah, that should get hit down there. Yeah, I see that moving. So if we hit a bit more on the back here, it might come back more. I think that's mostly got it there, but man, you can really see the, oh, the angle on the top going down real bad. Oh, I think that'll mostly get it. We'll just have to weld some more on the top, beef her back up, because like you can see, like, Oh, uh, where was it here? You can see the angle going down pretty hard there, so I'll have to try to level that back up. And, uh, yeah, but anyways, phone ring. I gotta run. Anyways, gotta run. Phone's ringing. Hasn't actually rang in a couple of good weeks, so surprising, but, uh, <laughs> usually when it rings once, it doesn't let up for a while. <laughs> That's what I've noticed anyways. So, better caller day, I guess. Gotta run, and, uh, Hopefully the internet's back and working tonight. Holy cow. Hopefully we don't get any more drop connections too. That should hopefully fix it, he said. So, yes, yes. And uh, tomorrow, I'd like to work on this thing a bit more. Uh, we'll see what happens. I got maybe another project. Actually, that phone call that just come in. There, uh, a little snowblower I gotta help guy get going. He says it won't start and won't run well. And bad gas, old gas. So, I actually got to go pick it up, but better not bring you there. So say good day for today, and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, tomorrow we'll maybe check out that blower and hopefully get some brackets cut for that thing. And uh, we'll carry on. But anyways, just before we go, I guess we can unload the uh, ATV here and stuff because I need the trailer. Got to go pick a snowblower up. So. Um, these are little wonky kind of weird things they got for holding your gate on. Well, they seem to work, but I don't know how long that's going to stay good for. And, uh, probably not how you're supposed to do that. But I like this gate too because it's got a bit of resistance there. Until it gets wore out, but anyhow. Oh, man. I got to drive that thing off of here. Look at this. I got lots of room to get up beside it and stuff. Here's a grimy cold start. Oh yeah. Super sweet. And of course I'm on the wrong side. And look, I got room to get up front. Walk around it. Super awesome. Oh, I got the brake on too. Man. There. Nice trailer. Look at that, even self unloads. Holy crap, how could you get her much more better than that, boys? I almost self-unloaded myself, too, though. <laughs> Sweet! All right, we are good. Well, I'll tell you, that sure is handy, having a trailer like that with a ramp built on her. Man, I've never had so much luxury as that, you know? I always had to carry planks with me, and you're always lining them up, worried about them. Stupid things slipping or falling off. <laughs> well, this is actually pretty nice. Pretty, uh, pretty fancy. And I really like the uh, lights they put in and around the perimeter of the trailer. They've got like these, I guess they're little LED things or something. Pretty sweet, so. We actually got some LED uh, taillights today too to put in. I haven't done them yet, but uh, not too much else going on with cable and stuff. <laughs> That's one of the things I wanted to do, was flop them fellers in, but uh, didn't actually end up coming out like that. I'm just stopping the light here now. Let's have a looky-see at them. Uh, oh, green light, crap. To show you in a minute, but uh, they're a, a grope light and they got the LED stuff inside them, so we'll have to do them. Uh, don't even know if I'll get that to tomorrow, and now I got the snowblower to do. So basically, he said uh, it's probably got old gas in it, probably gas from last year, you know, that's usually what happens. They use them once, shut them off, 
never think about her again and then you're uh, trying to pull her this year and you got a bunch of crap in the carburetor so it'll probably have to come off and get cleaned and blew all out and there's probably like a little wee passage there that's got a bit of gooey gummy stuff in it and it's all you need it's just like having your gas shut off right so well uh have to see we'll get her home and uh first of all what i normally do is sniff the gas you can tell if she's good or not <laughs> it's probably going to be pretty ranky so we might even have to uh, clean out the tank usually it's not too bad unless it's like five or six years old they've been sitting in there like that but uh, we'll figure figure that out when we get her home tomorrow and uh, see if it's got any spark probably does the newer stuff isn't usually too bad but uh, you get into some of the old points and condensers man oh man I've done them before what a nightmare <laughs> compared to the nice electronic stuff they got now but uh, we uh, just got to go pick them up and bring them home and uh, I don't even know if I got room to put them in the garage maybe the front garage I do actually but it's not warm in there really so but anyways let's go pick them up we'll take them home I wanted to show you these little houses on the way home here. They built these during the war. Tiny little things. Lucky if it's 15 by 20 odd. That little fella and this one is about the same size, but they got a second story on it. And uh, all of them along here are pretty darn tiny. Like, you know, basically like the size of my shed. <laughs> home pretty much. A little bigger, but not much. Holy, I don't know how you can live in something so small. But anyways, look at it in... Uh, compared to the aspect ratio of that car sitting there. Not very big. But anyways, we got the blower and uh, snow blower. And uh, usually there's a lot more wrong with it than they tell you, which looks like this one is. It's a flat tire on it too. And that's just the surface area of looking. <laughs> so, but uh, I don't know. It shouldn't probably be super too bad. I don't really think he uses a lot, which might be a bad thing too. So, but what do you do? So I didn't really tie her down, so I better go kind of easy on the way home here. Um, uh, they had a, it was actually from the guy from the funeral home, a buddy of mine from the funeral home there, it's his machine, and <clears throat> they had a service going on there, so there's people coming out, trying to get out. I got the half the parking lot blocked up. <laughs> I felt kind of bad, so I just kind of threw it on and, uh, and took off, so. Come on, buddy, you're on the right side. Stop at the same time, you're on the right, you got the right away. I love it when people don't know that. It's usually the way it works, anyways. If there's no traffic lights, people just completely freak out. Don't know what to do, and it's like, really? It's that bad, is it? Holy cow, that's not good. But anyways, we're going to hit her home and uh, just maybe give you a little quick look at this thing here. I'm not going to do anything on it today. i got a bit of a headache starting again, and uh, <clears throat> it's probably because of the dampness and crap today. Ah. <sighs> But anyways, we're headed home and we'll have a little look. Well, interestingly enough, um, yesterday when that light come on again on the truck here, I uh, reset it again and it hasn't come on again yet, but this is, well, really, I guess the first ride since. So it might come on in the third ride again, like Feller was saying there. So stupid things. Oh, well, what do you do? Can't do much about them. So, I don't do, I don't think I got, actually, you know what, I might have room in the back garage here. If I uh, push the tractor back a little more here. Hmm. Good old Noma Canadiana. Sweet. Frickin' Tecumseh. Crap. No, they're okay, actually. They're not too bad. But yeah, flat tire. You know, it's probably just from sitting. It loses a bit of air and then just whoosh, deflates and that's it. Oh. I'll probably just have to uh, maybe check the rim inside here and make sure it's not crubby and maybe put some stuff in there and seal around the rim and then doink, pop her back on. She'll probably be good, but uh, let's have a look-see here. Well, that's not where that should be. <laughs> it's supposed to be mounted down in there somewhere. Right there, I think, actually. And uh, there's probably no gas in it. Yeah, it's not the best. It's not the best smelling stiff. Now, what about in here? Well, there's some anyways. And he said it wouldn't start. Now, it does have that key thing there, but it's maybe been disabled. Uh, 
or some priming. Could have no spark, but maybe what it is too. Now, yeah, there's usually some break off, break key thing there, but which is right there. <laughs> so that's maybe part of the problem too. That's just a ground. I don't know. We'll have to see, figure it out. Give her a pull here and see. Or he didn't turn the gas on. I bet you didn't turn the gas on. <laughs> That's probably all it is. Well, maybe let her sit a minute and see if she'll fire up for us here. Let her fill her back in. See how much actually how much gas is in her here right now. Oh, it was almost a whole tank. Oh, very interesting. Well, feels like there's pressure there. Could have no spark. Now there's also this all wound up around in here. Holy frick, what the heck has he done here? Huh, it's actually power by power and his light. Kind of looks like it's going in there. I'll try a couple more pulls, I guess, here. Something's not right. Now there's also a key thing here, it looks like. Or was a switch probably for the light. You just love having to figure out everybody else's crap. Jeez. I don't know. There's no bowl cleaner valve on this one, so sometimes you can just push that and then the junk will fall out and bang away you go. But oh well, let's drag her inside. I'll leave her for tomorrow. Love messing with stuff too that uh, people have sort of started to work on and just left. Looks to me like uh Brand new spark plug. <laughs> Probably the wrong one too, but if I can get her to stay here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There. She's got spark. I don't know if you can see that very well at all, but. Probably can't, but anyway, she's got a spark. I can hear it. You can probably hear it snapping there. I ain't touching it <laughs> and pulling it. No way. So, uh, yeah, this was uh, barely in too. Huh. Ow. It's probably the wrong one. That'd be too hot of a plug. That was just. That was just like that. When I when I got it, it was wiggly, loose. Yeah, so that's, that's not good. <laughs> but anyways, I'll have to look it up. That's a 10 horse to come see. Uh, see what uh, they recommend for a plug for that, because that's probably the, definitely the wrong one. Should probably be a lot taller one, one that sits up about here somewhere, when it's locked on. That's for like a chainsaw or something smaller, like a five horse Briggs or something. But anyways, uh, let's see what we can find out. Is it for today? If I can make her up the hill here. Yeah! <laughs> All the way up. Holy, that was intense. But, anyways, uh, yeah, I gotta head her home. Headache's really not doing well right now. Ooh. Probably because I haven't drank a lot of water today because I've been out messing around with the uh, hydro. <laughs> you know what I mean. The cable guy. Holy man. Oh boy. But anyways, maybe I'll go have a drink of water or some whiskey or something good. Some rotten water maybe. Holy. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, that is it for today. Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll have to get that thing going for me. It'll be pretty pumped to get her, get her, get her going, I think. So uh, I'll get that fingered out. Looks sort of to me like it's a fuel issue now. Probably does have a bunged up in the carburetor or something, floats stuck on or something stupid. You never know, right? So, what sort of my next game plan would be would be to pop the line off the carburetor, uh, turn the uh, fuel uh, tank switchy thingy on and off there, make sure it's flowing out of there okay first. And um, after that, maybe pop the bowl off the carburetor. 
see if that's okay in there. And it might be full of watery, crappy, garbagey stuff. It usually does. They usually do do that, so. Do do, do do that. And uh, I can't see where I'm going. Not too bad now. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Basically, uh, to me, it's looking like a fuel issue. So we'll have to uh, address that tomorrow and see if we can get her going, let her run for a bit, address that tire. I don't really have anything to test it on, so hopefully the blower part of it's still okay. Belt-wise and stuff and bearing-wise, I don't know. We'll listen to it too and see if it's loud. But uh, yeah, until tomorrow anyways, have a good night. Hopefully the internet's good. Uh, it better be. <laughs> Man, it's been driving me nuts. And uh, have a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you tomorrow.